get in. I think after this, we're going to become best mates. We're going to have holidays together. And we can go to an island, if you like. A desert island? Yeah, whatever. With Bill or Kevin? With you! <laughs> <laughs> no control whatsoever over the steering here. So if there's an accident, mate, it's your fault. The word is that you were a bit of a heartthrob before politics. What do you mean, were? Like, now, you know, politics has kind of taken its toll. Look what happens. Yeah. <laughs> what did happen? <laughs> politics. So your three great loves, the Rabbitohs, Labor and the Catholic Church. Do you have any great loves that aren't embroiled in sex scandals? <laughs> Apparently not. <laughs> it would appear at the moment. Are you a real DJ? I like to pretend to be. One you of like the... to pretend to be a real DJ? Yeah, that's right. That's well, such I... a poly answer. I got oh, to... I like to pretend to be a real DJ. When I was Deputy Prime Minister, I got to host Rage, which absolutely was on my bucket list. So, like, did you just fall into being a DJ or is it because you're a closet wanker? <laughs> What do you mean, closet? <laughs> Are you thirsty? Let's get a drink. Cheers. Cheers, man. Gotta love a long neck. When white people drink in a park, it's a picnic. <laughs> Black people drink in a park is a problem. <laughs> oh, but Labor's looking like a sure victory. How do you plan on screwing it up? <laughs> well, there's no such thing as a sure victory, and we have screwed it up in the past, so... That the other mob sort of falling over one by one is is helping us. The Stephen Bradbury rule. He's helping us. All the scandals have been on the other side. And now they're left with Morrison, who's so desperate, he's, yeah, had, to invent, he's, like the... he's had to invent a nickname. ScoMo. Yeah, I mean, seriously. No one ever called him ScoMo before he became PM. You sound like you want to fight him about it. It's too close to elbow. <laughs> I don't know why I keep doing this. Oh, it's a job. I just called myself a wanker on national TV, but that's OK. <laughs> <laughs>